all these young brothers crashing out. They crashing out. Right after Julio Fulio got killed, Young and Ace dropped a video and a song. Do it. Young and Ace dropped a video and a song, right? And the video and the song he dropped is so damn incriminating, especially since him and Julio Fulio have been going at it for a long time. And that's his arch nemesis who he really wanted dead. He really wanted dead him dead because he, Young and Ace, lost blood relative, family member, kin, close friend in a beef. And Julio Fulio made a song. And in the song, you're dissing my dead people. Now, knowing that we are into it in these streets, two rival gang factions. I want Young and Ace to remember this, that in California or some other states, they do not use your lyrics from your song in court to prove a case or use your lyrics against you. But... In the state of Florida, where you are from, they certainly do use your song words against you. I don't want to see any more of y'all going down that route. But it looks like this a crash out session. It looks like mans have made up their minds that this is what it's going to be. I already heard it. Blood been spilt on both sides. The disrespect runs too deep on both sides. There's no turning back now. All right, man. Do what y'all got to do. I'm going to stay out of the way. Listen, this is an update on Julio Fulio. It says that a suspect has still not been identified in the shooting deck of rapper Julio Fulio. There's a lot of fake news going around. There's a lot of people taking the video that he put up for his birthday party. The video that law enforcement is saying probably had something to do with his enemies able to track him and get to him. He put a video up the day of his birthday. He said, you know, we're having a pool party. Um, I done dropped the Addy. I dropped the location. Uh, if you didn't get it, inbox me. I'll send it straight to you. Blah, blah, blah. In it, there's a dude right next to him that got long dreads just like his. Some of these bloggers, vloggers, whoever, have taken that and put a red circle around that brother's face. And they're saying that he used to be the ops. And Julio Fulio made friends with him and had him hanging around him. But he really wasn't his friend. He was just infiltrating his group. So he could one day drop his location to where he's at and have his other side come kill him. We don't know that to be true. What we know is law enforcement has to this morning said still no one has been identified in the shooting death of rapper Julio Fulio but a Jacksonville crime analyst believes that the shooter at large could be from a rival gang group in Jacksonville where Julio Fulio is from sadly I watched a video last night of Julio Fulio doing an interview he didn't seem too bothered or he seemed like he was bothered, but he was trying to play it off. They asked him, man, people are definitely after you. Somebody wants you dead. The amount of times you've been shot or shot at in Jacksonville, why are you still staying there? Can't you move? Can't you get out? And his reply was, his record label said to him, you don't have to be in Jacksonville. We can move you to somewhere else. He said... Yeah, I tried Atlanta, but, you know, I'm in Jacksonville by choice. God, that's just where I want to be. Now, here's the thing. I think his mom and them still stay in Jacksonville. I think Julio Fulio was getting to the money, but I don't think he was getting enough money. You know when you rich, rich, when you strike gold, diamond, you get a lot of money, you're able to take your mom and your siblings out of the hood, completely move everybody to someplace secluded, someplace nice, some gated community off in a suburb, many states away from the state that you have drama in. I don't think Julio Fulio got to that level of money. So if he couldn't take his family with him, he had a guilt complex where he felt like these people who want him dead, if they can't catch him, 
they'll probably end up one day catching his family members, his extended family, to include possibly his mama because they know who his mama is. Or it's not hard to get to his mom because his mama ain't out here on no gangster nothing, right? So he's like, man, let me stay around here at least to protect my family, at least so they could come for me instead of going for my family, which is sad. So Tom Hackney is a crime analyst in Jacksonville. And Tom Hackney said he thinks this is because what happened in the Tampa Hotel parking lot across from the University of South Florida, it wasn't the only time that Fulio was shot. Now, while fans and loved ones mourn the loss of Jacksonville rapper Julio Fulio, the police in Tampa, they work in overtime to bring his murderer to justice. You know what? I actually do believe that he might, they might be able to bring his murderer to justice. The way how those police officers work, the amount of cameras that's all over the place, the way how these dudes be high and, and doped up and doing these crimes and don't even be thinking like they might be under satellite surveillance or something. Now, while fans and loved ones are mourning, the police is working. There are cameras everywhere. This is what the police officer said. He said there are cameras everywhere and our officers are working. They're viewing all of the camera footage and they're talking with people who know. You know, you might have, they might have seen something. They might have heard something. They're doing their due diligence. Their boots are on the ground. This is what the TDP Public Information Officer Joni Lewis said. Now, three other people were also victims of the same shooting. And the other victims are believed to be in stable condition. This is what everybody wants to know. Did they just blaze down Julio Fulio and the people that was with him? Or did the people who were with Julio Fulio get a chance to fire back? And these other people who got hit were people who came with the ops. Because if it is, then they have a connection to who actually did it. At some point, it seems that they were going to the hotel just to get a room, Lewis said. Because apparently, the Airbnb that they were celebrating his 26th birthday at, they got some trouble there. The cops came. They were getting too loud. Shut it down. This is what I can't understand. First of all, majority of these Airbnbs that you rent, majority of Airbnbs you rent, they are somebody's house. And people will move out, go stay with their mama, go stay with other relatives just so they could use their house to flip a dollar or two. Now, what they ask, because of the way these houses are situated, don't you notice that most Airbnb houses are situated in quiet suburban neighborhoods? If you want a nice Airbnb, the people in that neighborhood, they own companies. They got to wake up and go to work in the morning or they have career fields. They have to wake up and go to work in the morning. So they don't want a house in the neighborhood that's able to host a party and go live. And it's like 150 people over there making a whole lot of noise all throughout the night. So, of course, they're going to call the police. But the paperwork, when you sign to these Airbnbs, because I use a lot of them. When you sign to these Airbnbs, the paperwork says no noise after certain hours. No parties at all. So, I don't understand how these guys be just living loose as hell. Now... It was his birthday. He's 26. He's about to turn up. You got a whole bunch of people in the house, alcohol, drugs, whatever they're on. You can only control the noise for so much. After a while, everybody is out of control. Music's playing, etc. The police came and the police kicked him out of the Airbnb. And he said that the party isn't over. Follow me to the next location. That's what he dropped on social media. Follow me to the next location. So I guess he was about to go continue the party at the hotel. And when he pulled up to the hotel, it seems like they were just about to go in. The Jacksonville crime and safety analyst for WJXT believes that those posts might have played a big role in Julio Fulio's death. He made it. To the parking lot. 
off that Holiday Inn. And that was it. Why? Because they were on his ass already. Now, after doing this for so long, I would tend to think that there is more of a Jacksonville-based regional kind of beef between two groups. Maybe took advantage of a foolish posting saying where he was. This is what Hackney said. Hackney, this is Hackney's career. This is what he does. You know, these investigators, they've been out here. They've been in the field. They've been dealing with these guys, different factions of these types. And he said, after doing this for so long, I would tend to think that this is more of a Jacksonville-based regional kind of beef between two groups. Maybe they just took advantage of foolish posting, like you just, Julio, Fulio, lived up to the Fulio part of his name, just dropped his addy, dropped his location, because it's his 26th birthday, and he just wanted to party, I guess those death angels were calling, because you're supposed to move cautious if you out here in these streets, right, I'm trying to get uh, my record company to put me in a bulletproof car, if we can't in invest in anything else, get me a bulletproof vehicle, because every time I step outside, I want to be in a bulletproof vehicle. And then, I'm not going to those silly places like renting Airbnbs just loosely and then dropping my location on social media. How badly those people want you? Go and listen to Young and Ace's new video that dropped right as Julio Fulio lost his life. I'm not saying Young and Ace had anything to do with it, but I'm saying that song that he did, the video, it's very telling of the mindset of these young brothers and what they're into and how they move, vulture-like. Now, according to a report from WJXT, Julio Fulio was shot at least two times in the last few years before he was shot and killed in that Tampa hotel parking lot. And the other most recent shooting incident he is connected to was in October when he was shot in the foot just recently. In 2021, Julio Fulio was grazed by a bullet in a drive-by shooting in Jacksonville. All of this happening in Jacksonville. And he stayed in Jacksonville. So his murder comes... And somebody from a rival group is now going to get out there and need to be retaliated against in their eyes for his murder. And then it's just going to keep going. If you think they're not going to ride for Julio Fulio, if you think they're not going to spin the block for him, you're tripping. Julio Fulio was riding for somebody. He spun the block for somebody. He, If he didn't pull the trigger himself, he he know about it. And somebody is going to do the same for him. And this is why there is no end to this. Because once blood is spilt, once people die, it's hard to say, okay, let's stop now. Julio Fulio's lawyer told Jacksonville reporter that Julio Fulio basically was ambushed. Now... He said, this is what he said, right? He said, eight on your side counted at least 10 bullet holes in the front windshield of one of the cars that were being investigated in the parking lot. Eight on one side. Obviously, they either spraying a Draco, because they haven't told us the public yet if it was 762 bullet um, casings, if it was 556. So we don't know if it was a AK-47 or if it might have came from an AR-15 or if it's 9mm rounds and somebody had a switch on a Glock with an extendo. You don't know. We don't know what the details are. All we know is one side of the vehicle that he was, that they are investigating, one side of the vehicle that Julio Fulio was thought to be in, had eight bullet holes on one side, and it had ten bullet holes in the front windshield as well. We've reached out to the Tampa police to find out if there were any new leads on the suspect, if they have 
closing in on anybody yet? And their answer is, they got some pretty good leads, and they're working this case. That's that. Listen, man, let this be a lesson. You know, matter of fact, I'm going to save the lesson. Let this be a lesson to who didn't jump off the porch yet. Let this be a lesson to who isn't in this type of life yet, but is probably thinking about getting into this type of life. It ain't glitz and glamour. You see what goes with it. Coffins, slow singing, flower bringing, funerals, and more spinning the block, and more dying, and more coffins, funerals, so slow singing, flower bringing, more parents burying their children. You want to hurt your mommy and your daddy like that? Hmm. Leave your comments in the comment section below, and I'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlow TV over here at Hot Topics TV slash Brain Flow TV. You already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. I'm out. Peace.